Welcome back to Singapore Sailing, an episode three of the series that features the best highlights and inside stories from the waters of Singapore. In this episode, we're heading back to Singapore's National Sailing Centre to bring you the latest news from the biggest youth event in the region. Welcome to Fish and Co. Everybody, come to Singapore! I definitely will encourage them to come to this event. Fish & Co and the Singapore Sailing Federation continue to join hands to boost youth sailing in 2016. This year's championships are set to be a real spectacle, simply due to the quality of the youth sailors coming from all over the world, not only to compete, but also to build friendships for the future. This is one of the only events that I will never miss like in my life because this is like the one event that I learned as much, like the most, because there are many good sailors. There's like Jody Lai who came second at the World Championship, and there are many more people. Like Singapore is like one of the best countries for sailing. Like in the Dominican Republic Worlds, they had four out of five at the Worlds, the top five. It's quite hard, and it's nice to sail with the better guys and to improve. The racing started with Singapore's typical tricky weather and unpredictable wind shifts to really challenge the sailors and test their skills. In the Optimist class, the biggest fleet of the six classes, Singapore's 2015 world champion Jodie Lai opened her assault with a second place and looked ready to claim another regatta win to add to her silverware. I, I really like it because I like, I like learning from other sailors, especially from Jodie Lai. She's one of my favourite sailors. I like the way she sails. Her teammate and 2015 team racing world champion Daniel Hung was also looking hungry, scoring a third place finish and managing to keep that momentum going through day two as well. A day that belonged to Jonathan Leo, who dominated with a flawless performance of three race wins. In the laser 4.7, Simon Chen looked stylish and composed during racing. She managed to widen the points difference in the female division and it seemed that the gold was already within touching distance. In the 29er class, Ko Yi Nian and Wang Riji, with 12 points after 8 races, held pole position, but the competition remained very close at the top of the standings, so it would all come down to the final day. Uh, I think that um, the competition will be quite close, because the wind is quite shifty right now, but uh, hopefully um, they will have some stable conditions where we can all have some tight racing. The Fish & Co Youth Sailing Championships is one of the biggest competitions in the region, dedicated to the development of youth in the sport. It also acts as a great platform for training the champions of tomorrow. With numerous world titles in the Optimist class during the last 10 years, Singapore Sailing has proved that it knows how to build up the young guns. Like after finish, I want to try windsurfing. Yeah, it's a totally different boat, but then like I think it's quite fun, and like many of my friends are trying it, so I'm gonna try it out also after finish. Right now, I'm thinking of. Uh, going 
after the 29er, next year I think I'm going on the NACRA um, for the 2020 Olympics. I will be moving from the radio to the standard soon, but maybe I'll be trying to transit right now. And I think it will be quite a big jump for me. I tried sailing the laser standard during the SEA Games trials in Singapore, but Colin and the rest were still better than me. The final day of the Fish & Co Youth Sailing Championships 2016 was full of thrilling action. The top 10 athletes in each class were facing off in the medal races, whilst the rest prepared for a final fun race. The top optimist youngsters relished the chance to get a taste of Olympic medal racing in what was an intense battle. Incredibly close racing saw Daniel Hung of Singapore secure the medal race win, enough to give him the gold. For Jonathan Leo, a fifth place in the medal race was enough to keep a good distance from Malaysia's Mohamed Izzuddin. They finished third and fourth overall respectively. Jodie Lai, the only girl in the top 10, was yet again on good form and finished second in the medal race and second overall. It was 10th place for Hong Kong's Duncan Gregor, who performed under the close eye of his teammates. Yeah, I was watching him. Actually, I felt really intense for him because I know that it'd be extremely hard. Um, he did really well, I'm really proud of him and I'm glad he's representing Hong Kong. The 29er class saw an exciting medal race thanks to a frisky breeze. Ko Yin Yan and Wang Riji claimed the victory and secured overall gold. Samuel Neo and Javier Ung Yao Jun finished second, outfoxing Bertha Han and Evangeline Tan, who finally ended the regatta in third overall. In Techno, Malaysia's Ilham bin Wahab was the star of the week, dominating 11 out of 12 races, including the medal race. In the 4.7 laser class, Lu Junrui maintained his winning performance to take another bullet and with it the gold. In the laser radial, Bernie Chin had already secured gold ahead of the medal race but his second place finish proved his superiority. I think that the medal race gives more of an opportunity to uh, gain more places in the top few uh, ranks, so I think it's quite good and uh, it's more it's more fair than just having a normal final race. It was quite tough for me because I went too much to the left and I got stuck, I got stuck in the sand. So I lost quite a few positions, but I was still alright, I retained my first place. The Fish & Co Youth Sailing Championships wrapped up with a dynamic medal and closing ceremony. Prizes and awards were presented to a sea of applause and the teams were already looking forward to next year's championship. <laughs>